Hello everyone, in this video I will teach you how to configure the streamer website and then deploy it on your web hosting. So first of all you will need a code editor. So I will suggest you to use VS Code. So uh, just go to its official website and download it for your uh, operating system. I have already downloaded it. And then download the source code so in my case the source code is over here and inside the main directory you will find the admin source code and the uh, streamer main website source code so before deploying it to the web hosting let's change the name color and the logo of the website so open your vs code and then click on open folder or you can go to file and then click on open folder and then go to the path where you have saved the uh, the streamer source code in my case it's in document and then click on streamer and then open the main streamer website source code so first we will edit the streamer website source code and then after that the admin panel so click on open So once this is open, I will uh, go to the images and over here I will find the logo PNG. So currently the logo is this and I want to change it to the this logo which is a Twitch logo. So I will copy the logo and I will open the images folder inside my finder or you can say it's a folder and then I will paste it paste the new logo inside the uh, images folder and click on replace so this will replace the image folder as you can see well you can't directly copy the logo inside the images folder that's why you have to first open it inside your folder and then paste it so once that is done our uh, logo has been changed go to your uh, main.css file and over here at line 71 you will see this color just copy the color code click on this search icon let me expand this add the search input field space the color code which you have copied and replace it with your color code so in my case i want to replace it with twitch color so i'm going to copy the twitch color and this is going to be my new color so i'll paste it inside the replace input field and then I, I will click on replace all so this will replace all the i mean this will replace the main color with the new color of the twitch okay so as you can see this has been replaced and now we have to change the name of the website so just open the lobby.php and rename this with your own website name so in my case it is twitch and then scroll down to line 38 copy this go to the search paste the text in the search place and and on the replace input field paste the uh, paste the copied code again and then replace the streamer with your website name which is twitch in my case sorry as you can see i have replaced the name then click on replace all so this will replace the website name throughout the uh, whole source code now this is done and we have changed the logo name and the color of the website now we have to configure the email part for the forgot password so there are two different ways you can add your email first way is using the google email account or the second way is by using your own custom email which is domain based 
so first i will show you how to add your own gmail account to send email to the user email notification or email forward password to the user and then i will show you how to do it with the uh, custom domain email so first of all go to your uh, email and then click on manage your account google account and then after that scroll down to security and over here you can see uh, two-step verification click on that if you have not enabled two-step verification you will have to enable it and then after that scroll down to the bottom and over here you can see add passwords so click on that and as you can see i have already created a password but i will create another password to show you how you can do the same so in this just select mail and over here you have select other so over here you have to type your website name which you click on generate so this will generate a new password so just copy the password go to the backend folder forgot pass so not the forgot pass forgot.php and over here you can see your password so just paste your password and that's it now over here you have to change my email with your own email so click on done click over here just copy your email and just replace my email with yours but in my case I have, I'm using the same email, email so that's why it's not changing but uh, in, uh, but you have to change it with your email now you don't have to change other settings and your email notification has been connected but now let's say if you are using your own custom email if you are using your own custom domain email then in that case so currently i'm logged in with in my webmail and over here you can see webmail home so click on that and just scroll down and then click on configure mail client say in your case the ui might be different but uh, this the name let's say for example the mail client automatic configuration script the settings names are going to be the same so just scroll down and over here you have to find your port number which is four is four six five four six five and then over here you can see the smtp so copy our smtp and we will re replace it with the gmail smtp and that's it now you will have to copy the username which is the email and replace it with my email and then your password so i won't be showing you the password but you will have to uh, type your uh, webmail password over here or the password which you are using for this email and after that your email notification configuration is done now you will have to change the uh, email notification logo with your logo so just go to the firebase account And then just click on add project and type in your project name click on continue continue select the default account for firebase and click on create now click on continue and then go to the uh, build storage and over here just click on 
get started next and done so this will create a firebase storage and then you will just have to upload your logo inside the storage and get the link now one storage has been created go to the rules and then change the rules so just you just have to uh, remove the if false and the clone symbol so after removing that your firebase rules should look like this and then click on publish go to files click on upload and select your logo click on open now once this your logo has been uploaded just copy the link go to the forgot.php and at line 72 just replace this firebase link with your link so we have changed the uh, logo in for the email notification and now our email notification part has been covered click on save and that's it okay so we have set up the uh, source code and now we will uh, upload it to our web hosting so for this tutorial i'm using uh postingers uh free web hosting service so i've already created a web hosting and uh, attached my domain name to it so this is my domain name and currently it's showing nothing and this is my web hosting so first thing is that you have to copy your domain name go to the source code and then go to this uh, file ht access and over here you just have to replace this part with the, your with your uh, with your uh, domain name so it should look like this your domain name slash 404.php and save this and then close this file and then go to the backend for god.php and at line 30 you just have to replace this url with your own domain name now once this is done close save the file and close it and then go to your web hosting click on manage website now in your case the web hosting you uh, the web hosting ui might be different so don't get confused because the options like file manager database managers are the same but the ui is different so just go to that option you will obviously find it and if you don't then you can contact me i will help with that because i can't provide you know tutorial for each and every web hosting so just go to your uh, tools and then your database manager and over here you have to create a new database so click on new database and then type the database name make sure your uh, you don't include any capital letters so my database name is twitch my database username is going to be spacester and the password is uh, going to be this so i have randomized it it is a random generated password so i'm going to copy this and then click on create so this will create a new uh, database okay so my database has been created now i will click on manage and go to php my admin and over here you can see my uh, database that i have created just now uh, click on that and then go to import and then click on choose file and go to your uh, directory 
of the source code and over here you can see a streamer.sql file so click on that click on open and click on go so this will create all the tables uh, and fields inside the database and as you can see this has created all the fields and the tables which are required to run the uh, website now go to structures and over here you can see uh, all the tables so this this part is done close this and now open your vs code go to the back end and over here at the connection.php open that file and now you have to replace the local host with your host name so for that go to the uh, your my database and over here you can see db name db user and db host so copy the db host in my case it is also the local host and then we have to copy the db user just copy the user id and then paste it uh, and then replace it with the root and then copy the name database name and then replace it with the uh, database streamer at line 5 and in place of password you have to write the database password which you have generated while creating the database so in my case it, it was this and after that click on Control s to save the file close the file and that's it so now go to file manager to upload this folder inside the web hosting so now go to the your folder streamer and this was the folder in which we were working so i will compress this into a zip file now our zip file is ready and then just go to the file manager so we are in the file manager and then go to the public underscore html and over here just delete this htaccess file which is auto generated if it's auto generated in your web hosting so this folder should be empty and if in case there are files so just delete them and make sure that this folder is empty now we will upload the zip file we have created click on open click upload okay so as you can see my zip file has been uploaded inside my web hosting now i'm going to extract this So I want to extract this in the main public dot underscore HTML file. So I'm putting this as as a, as it's written over here that if you want to extract in the current folder, then just you know write a full stop. So I've written the full stop, and this will extract the whole code inside the main directory, which is public underscore HTML. Make sure you extract the uh, whole source code inside the main directory of public underscore html otherwise your url path will change so click on extract so as you can see my files has been extracted in the streamer folder so go to that folder and then move all the files of the code to the public underscore html which is the root directory so make sure you move the file inside the root directory otherwise your url path to access the website will change so click on move and then change the destination i will change it to the main directory and then click on move so this will move all the file inside the main directory as you can see i'm in under H public underscore html file and all the codes which we were editing over here uh, display are displaying on this uh, folder and just remove the zip file which you uploaded Ooh. 
streamer.zip file and that's it so now let me check if my website is working or not go to your URL and as you can see the website name has changed the logo has changed and the website is working perfectly now let's click on sign up you can also see the color has been changed so let's type the name the username email password and click on sign up and as you can see we have successfully signed up and this is our profile page and when you go to the your database you should be able to see the uh, account you have created just now so go to your database manager manage php my admin select the database and over here under users table you can see the uh, user which i have created just now so yes the website is working perfectly and then so now we have to generate the agora key and paste it inside the source code so go to your agora console if you have account then you can sign in if you don't have an account then you can sign up for agora so in my case i already have an account so i will just sign in and this will take it and this will take me to the console of the agora and over here in the project management create a new project just type the website name or the project name according to your uh, and then click on social live stream and then select testing mode app.id don't select this we will uh, uh, we will make it live after we confirm that this key is working so for now while creating the new project just select the test mode and click on submit so just copy the app id go to the file manager and over here just uh, go to the js folder open that folder and then just uh, open the lobby.js in a code editor of your file manager and then replace the app id with your own uh, with your own app id of the agora which, which you have copied from here click on save and close and then go to room.js open it in the code editor of your file manager and replace it with your own app id and then do the same with search.js open it in the file manager and then replace your app id with it Just click on save and close and that's it so we have uh, successfully pasted the agora app id and we have completed the main uh, website part which was the main website and then now we are going to edit and upload the admin panel